Now we're following this recent spike as two people are dead after separate shootings happening over the weekend. One of those happening on Saturday night in Windsor, killing Richard Callender. Now your science Abigail Velez joins us now live in Windsor. Abigail, you spoke to Callender's family as well as others in the community. What are they saying tonight? That's right, Ken Angie. I'm told it's been a devastating few months for Bertie County residents with the spike in recent crimes. I'm outside of the home where Richard Callender was shot and killed Saturday evening. Earlier today, I spoke to two of his children that are pleading with the community to put an end to gun violence. Cause my dad's life was took it for no reason. <laughs> Richard Collender's death was the sixth fatal shooting the county has seen since the beginning of the year. I sat down with two of his children who are pleading with the community to end the gun violence. Dad being gone, it's like losing my, it's like losing a whole half of me, especially me and my dad were some jokers, so we let to play with each other, stuff like that. And now I just gotta look back at pictures and videos. <laughs> And just remember the good times we had because I know I can't have it again. Windsor police say they are investigating the shooting that killed Collender, but some residents in the area say the recent crime spike has them worried. Uh, we're doing all we can in the town of Windsor. Uh, we are working very diligently on this crime, and if anyone has any information, to please call the Windsor Police Department. Being a resident of Bertie County, it really makes me afraid for not just myself, but my children. I have three children, and then a lot of times, like one of the incidents, we actually heard it was not too far from where I live, and it actually kind of shook us up a bit. So with all this going on, it actually makes me afraid to even leave the house sometimes, you know. Yeah. Collender's children say the community needs to change. There's no reason that guns should be used in the type of way of dealing with what we're going through now. But the guns have to be put down because there's no exact or really main purpose for people lives to be taken by guns. Yeah, really tragic and raw emotion. And Nine on Your Side reached out to Bertie County Sheriff Tyrone Ruffin for a comment on the recent spike of violent crimes, but he declined to comment. Live in Windsor, Abigail Velez, Nine on Your Side. Wow, Abigail, thank you.